Hi mga kabalero. And our exciting topic for today is digital image processing and machine vision. So in this dig digital image processing discussion series, we will be dealing with different kinds of techniques to kickstart our understanding on the idea of digital image processing. So as starters, it is very recommendable to begin with the image enhancement techniques for our basic understanding. And before we proceed, let us first define image enhancement. Ima image enhancement refers to the process of highlighting certain information of an image, as well as weakening or removing any unnecessary information according to our specific needs. For example, we would like to eliminate noise, reveal blurred details, and adjusting levels to highlight features of an image. So for image enhancement, I have prepared three subcategories or examples, which are first, converting RGB image to grayscale. Second, contrast stretching for grayscale and RGB images. RGB means red, green, and blue image, or what is known to be colored images, and lastly, histogram equalization for grayscale and RGB images. So let's first define RGB image and grayscale image. So grayscale image adds a color depth between black and white in the binary image to form a grayscale image. And such images are usually displayed as grayscales from the darkest black to the brightest white, and each color depth is called a grayscale. In RGB or color images, the information for each pixel requires a number to represent. So we need a three-dimensional matrix to represent an image, and almost all colors in nature that we can see can be composed of these three colors, the red, the green, and the blue. So each pixel can be represented by a green or a red, a green, and a blue tuple in an RGB image. And later on, we will be seeing these differences or these components as we move forward with the examples. Before we proceed with an example, let's have first the two, the two methods to convert an RGB image to a grayscale image. And these are the average method and a weight, the weighted method. So theoretically, the formula for the average method is 100% correct. That is, I gray is equal to R plus G plus B divided by 3. But when writing code, you may encounter an overflow error. And that is, the sum of the R, the G, and the B is greater than 255. And we don't want that. Because greater than 255, that means that it's equivalent to the brightest white. So we have a different or a separate code or what we use the IM double in MATLAB. And later on, we'll be using MATLAB to show the examples. And that is to convert the format of the pixels to its decimal value to avoid the overflow error. On the other hand, the reason why we have the weight method is because the human eyeballs react differently to the red, the green, and the blue lights. Eyes are more sensitive to the green light, less sensitive to the red light, and least sensitive to the blue light. Therefore, the three colors should have different weights in the distribution. The green light will be multiplied to 0.59, which is the, the most sensitive to the, to the light or to the green light, less sensitive to the red, therefore it has 0 0.3. And then the least sensitive, which is blue, we have 0 0.11. So the weighted method is also called the luminosity method and, the way, and it weighs the red, the green, and the blue accordingly to its wavelength. So I have an example of an RGB image, which is uh, the pili fruit. 
And in using MATLAB, I was able to extract the RGB components of the image. The code will be shown on the next slide or the summary slide. Also, the pixel matrix shown on this slide is incomplete since I just captured a three by three matrix to provide an example on how the gray output is generated. So let me show you the code in MATLAB to present where I got the pixel matrix for each color on this slide. And I also have an Excel file to show you the manual calculation of the conversion. So heading on to our MATLAB, MATLAB code. Our first um, line here is just storing the Pilinat uh, picture. This is the picture on bottom left side of the screen in IM. And I have here several codes, the R, G, and B codes, uh, representing by one and two and three, but uh, separated by or um, having this colon, comma, colon, comma, and then one. Same goes with the G, but we used two and B for, or three for B. And the last code or the last line here is storing the picture or the output uh, picture using the IM split and then montage so that the R, the G, and the B components of our picture will be uh, presented on a single flash. So let's try running this code. So here is the output for the red, the green, and the blue. Notice that these are all uh, looks like an, a, a, a grayscale images. But if we check on our Excel file, we will be able to uh, appreciate more the components. So for, for red, this is the, uh, the three by three matrix, but this is incomplete. Again, this is incomplete. If we would like to see the entire uh, matrix, we, could, we should go to workspace and let's see where is the red. This is the red and this is how it looks like. It's a bunch of numbers which represent the pixels of the picture. And the, the, the pixels is a 1080 by 1080, all right? Same goes with the blue. If we go back to the workspace, or the green, let's see, the green. This is the representation of the green and the blue. And that's how it goes. So the red is 56, 53, 54, 63, 52 for the three by three matrix. And our manual calculation here for the grayscale is uh, using the weighted method. And this is how it looks like. So if we go back to MATLAB and run the code, let's close this out, run this convert image to grayscale image I am read, and our code is um, I am to gray, right? Let's play or, or let's run this code. And the output is this one. So the color image is now converted to grayscale. So why are we converting RGB images to grayscale image? The main reason is that if we convert uh, an RGB image to grayscale image, we are only um, dealing with a single matrix, which is composed of the, the three components, the R, the G, and the B, all right? And we can process um, this grayscale image faster compared to an RGB image. All right, so let's go back to the summary slide to wrap up this video. So in summary, the algorithm begins with loading the image first, followed by declaring the conversion code, which is the IM to gray. And I have seen another code, which is RGB to gray. And the result is just the same. 
The I am show pair function is just to cascade the input and the output picture to show the comparison. So common image processing techniques convert RGB image to grayscale, again, to easily manipulate the pixels since grayscale images only has a single pixel matrix as compared to the RGB images, which has three different matrices for the red, the green, and the blue space. So this is all for the first example for image enhancement, which is the conversion of RGB image to grayscale image. I hope you learned something from this. Thank you.